Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 332, count the number of fair pairs. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. And it seems like, uh, yeah, I mean, I think this one I actually still worry about, even though I already submitted and already accepted. But I don't think that conceptually there's anything super hard. Um, in terms of if you really want to be at a level where you're good at interviews uh, or, you know, proficient in interviews, I feel like this is a very, um, really at least on par or on, uh, yeah, uh, at least at the bar level, if not harder than prompts like this. Uh, maybe like if I were to give an interview question, it'll be something like this, but one more step afterwards. Um, so definitely, Definitely be careful about it. Um, the way that I did it, I actually kind of worry a lot about this problem only because it's so easy to do an off by one things. Um, but the core part of, uh, of the thing is just binary search. Um, yeah, uh, after sorting, of course. I mean, the thing is that um, one thing that I would make a statement about is that uh, here you want I to be less than J, but all that really means um, is that um, and you could do it in a number of ways. You could actually, um, uh, you can actually, um, um, so one, one thing that you may ask is that, you know, given that I is less than J, um, how can we, you know, why are we able to sort it, right? Well, it, it just means that you don't do, if, you know, if you count I, comma j and then you count j comma i all you have to do is divide by two and in this particular case you cannot reuse the same number so you don't have to worry about that part as well so by sorting it i know that i'm double counting it and you could see it at the end um another way of doing it uh and as an alternative is keeping something in a in a sorted list or a binary search tree or something like this or preferably a balanced binary search tree because then now as you in going from left to right you can insert these numbers and then do the same logic of binary search um in that way you won't double count but that's not what i did i suppose um but yeah basically i actually wrote a formula during the contest um i wrote that you want lower is equal to some x put and we're looking for y um but we have lower is less than or equal to x and less than equal to upper right or oh, sorry yeah um, so x plus y is between lower and upper, and you're given x, so then of course you can just minus x on this side, minus y, uh, sorry, minus x on this side as well, and then just search for y. So that's basically what I did. I did low is equal to this uh, bisect left because we want to keep the index. Uh, we do a bisect right because we also want to keep the index in which these are equal, and then we just do the count. And then the other thing that I do, and I kind of just wrote out the formula. You can obviously just actually add x in the middle. Um, because then this is just saying that if if x is in the middle, then you are going to count this number twice because 2 times x is between lower and upper so that this is within your search range. So I just minus 1 so that we don't double count itself. Um, and this is with x is equal to x. I mean, there could be duplicate numbers, but you don't want it to be duplicate with itself, right? So that's why I have a count minus 1. Uh, I add it and then I divide it by 2 as we said because I double count. Um, because of the sorting, it is going to be n log n, um, but there is obviously going to be log n uh, components on each of the uh, n items. So it's going to be n log n in either case. Um, it's going to be this. Put, the way that I did it is linear time. I consider linear time to do in place sorting. You know, technically speaking, you know, but you should not change the input in any case uh, for a lot of APIs, that's my opinion. So this is linear time in that way. Um, of course, if you also use a binary search tree or something like this, or a balanced binary search tree or sorted list or whatever you want to use, that's also going to be linear time, oh sorry, linear space. So can't really get around it, at least the way that I'm doing it. Um, maybe you could do some stuff with prefix sum if you're really, really funky and you know. Uh, I think there's also another way with uh, after you sort, you can maybe do a two, uh, a two pointer type thing, but because uh, you just move, um, and I guess in this case technically there's three pointers. You have to x, and then you have to things, but it's still going to be sorting, and and so, um, so I, don't, I don't, you know, so I think that's still the the well the the way that that happens is still n log n, but yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you think, and you could watch me solve a live during the contest now. Five nine six six seven three. Let's give it a go. Uh,
I assume this is N is pretty big, okay. Um, numbers of IJ as you go up and lower, and these are pretty big numbers. Okay, so I mean, it's just binary search, but it's just really annoying. Uh, okay, fine. I mean, you can also like two uh, two pointers it, but eh. it's just very annoying, though. Oh, uh, and this negative number, so that's really even worse. But okay, fine. So you want x plus y, x plus some y is da 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 da. First, so then now that means that we have x, so then lower minus y. Okay, right. But, uh, oops. Uh, this should be lower minus x is to be is where y is. Y and then also upper minus x, right? Basically, if x is I don't like this, but maybe it's off by one. This is such a hard problem for Q2, though. Uh, that double count. Mm, oh yeah, okay. Then I did double count, but but I don't. I, uh, I'm not confident about this one though, just because it's uh, so many off by one opportunities. I have to test this a little bit more. Give us a minute. I'm not confident about this one at all, to be honest. Okay, fine. Because so many off by one. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, the explanation, this contest, maybe, and everything in between. Um, that's all I have. So stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.